Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps. Today I'm going to share with you a Lincoln Navigator year model 2005. I'm going to change a brake fluid and I'm going to flush it. And how do I do it in Easy Steps? Let's get started. So what you're going to be needing is a car jack dot three brake fluid. So first you're going to open the hood, the master cylinder for the brake fluid, just open it. And I'm going to move all the old dirty fluid. You can either use a syringe or you can use a pump. So what I have here is a pump. Siphon all the old brake fluid out into the bottle. And there it comes out. It is very dirty. After removing all my old fluid, I'm going to place a funnel. And I'm going to top off the master cylinder with dot three brake fluid. After topping it off, I'm going to close the cap. So after filling the cylinder off, close the cap. Now I'm going to remove each wheel one by one. And I'm going to drain the brake fluid each one by one. You're going to jack up the car and remove one wheel at a time. So once the wheel is lifted off the ground, I'm going to move the wheel. Right here is the drain plug. You're going to crank it loose. It's a 10 mm, so you're going to crank it loose. Once you crank it loose, just hand tighten it back and then get your pipe on it. And then we're going to drain the fluid. I've placed the pipe right on top. Before loosening the drain plug, you're going to put it in a bottle. You do not want to suck air into the brake system. So just have a little old fluid and have your pipe sink right under just as I have it. And now come to the top, slowly open it. And now you're going to need one person to step on the brake. Go. Are you? Yeah. So once he's pushed a few times, you can lift it up slowly and you can see when the brake fluid starts running clear. Okay, stop. Go. There we go. Brake fluid is running clear. Just sink your pipe down and come back to the top. Hand tighten it. Move the pipe. Use a 10 mm socket and tighten it down again. And place your rubber boot back on and just pushes right on and now on to my next wheel so after draining each wheel you're going to make sure to come to the master cylinder and you're going to top it off because you do not want to run this dry because you will get air into the system which will cause your brakes to fail and not work i am almost halfway down so i'm going to top it off and close it and then i'm going to do my next wheel on to my second wheel running clear second wheel is done For the rear wheels exactly the same thing come to the back it's going to be the rubber pull it off and crank it loose and tighten it Put your pipe on, drain it, same procedure. Third wheel is running clean, on to my last wheel. My last wheel is running clear. Last step is, so I'm going to make sure I fill it up until it's here. And now it's at the max mark. Close the cap. That's how easy it is to change and flush your brake fluid on your 2005 Lincoln Navigator. If this video has helped you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.